A large part of the sawn timber used today is technically dried before use. Perfectly working drying chambers are required for high-quality technical drying. In order to ensure their function, a regular check of all functional elements is necessary. To record and document the function check, we use a checklist in which detected defects are noted so that they can be corrected at the next opportunity. Some functions of a drying chamber can only be inspected while the process is running, while other functions can only be inspected with the drying chamber open and empty. The functional check of a drying chamber can therefore not always be completed in a single day. A drying chamber must have a vapor-tight inner skin. The test is carried out visually. Injuries to the inner skin can be caused by corrosion, leaks between the aluminum elements, cracks in the masonry, or carelessness while loading the chamber. If the inner skin has a wooden protective layer or is otherwise concealed, a visual leak test of the inner wall is not possible. In this case, the outer wall must be inspected during operation. You can recognize thermal bridges by placing your hand on them. If the inner wall leaks, moist warm air enters the insulating layer and liquid condensation drips from the outer skin. If the chamber is insufficiently insulated, there is a risk that a mild drying climate cannot be maintained in the chamber when drying sensitive wood. The doors of the drying chamber are provided with seals that are pressed against the door frame by the dead weight of the doors. For a good seal, the suspension devices on the goals and on the goal frame must be correctly aligned. The seals must also be functional at all points. Defective or missing seals should be replaced immediately. The gate is placed on the chamber floor by its own weight via a seal. If the floor threshold is corroded, interrupted, or no longer present, steam can escape. The energy losses through leaky doors are considerable. Every drying chamber has escape doors. These must be checked regularly for safe operation. The functional test is documented by affixing test seals and information signs. A sufficiently large storage space on the supply air and exhaust air side must be kept free. If the storage space is too small, an even flow through the piles cannot be guaranteed. The spray lines are tested with the chamber open and empty. Clogged or calcified spray nozzles must be cleaned or replaced. The climate in the drying chamber is regulated by means of the supply and exhaust air flaps while drying is in process. Cool, dry air is supplied through the supply air flaps. The warm, moist air is released into the environment via the exhaust air flaps. Inlet and exhaust air flaps must close and open completely. In addition, if you have several flaps, you must ensure that they work in the same direction. The function and direction of rotation of the mostly invisible fans can only be checked when they are switched on. Modern control systems report problems with the fan motors. The flexible partitions above the stacks are designed to prevent air from circulating unused above the stacks. Shredded or missing rubber rags must be replaced. The climate sensors are an important functional element of every drying chamber. At least one thermometer and one humidity sensor on each side of the drying chamber is required for reversing operation. The temperature sensors must be kept clean and equilibrium moisture content EMC sensors must be replaced regularly. In the case of psychrometers, make sure that the wet sock, wet bulb, is absorbent and not dirty or calcified. A safe water supply must be guaranteed without interruption. By means of the measuring electrodes and the corresponding cables, the control system of the drying kiln receives information about the wood moisture in the kiln load. The electrodes must be free from corrosion. The connection cables must not show any injuries. Connectors must be free of corrosion and loose contacts. The drying process is supplied with energy via steam or heating water lines. These should be well insulated to avoid unnecessary heat loss. Control valves must be tight and easy to move. Drying chambers are important elements of production. 
dirt accumulations and old and defective material not only create a bad impression with visitors, they also represent a source of danger for your own personnel and promote the growth of mold and blue stain fungi, which in turn can have a negative effect on the quality of sawn timber. An important requirement for the functioning of a drying kiln is well-trained personnel. The charging and loading of the drying chamber, the selection of the boards for the moisture measurement in the chamber, the way and where electrodes are placed are decisive for the drying result. The training of the staff is therefore particularly important. The information about the technical drying comes together in the control center. The computers and equipment that manage the drying programs and monitor the drying process are located here. The control center is usually also the office of the drying master, i.e. the person who is responsible for drying. This room should be big enough and have a pleasant climate. In every company, a wealth of experience develops in the minds of the employees over time. Documenting this wealth of experience and passing it on to new employees is an important task for the technical staff and the technical management.